everybody, so today I am going to tell you my top five television shows. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So number five on my top TV shows is Agent Carter. I love this TV show. This is the first season. I have the second season recorded on TV and I'm getting ready to purchase the second season. And it only ran for two seasons because unfortunately it was canceled. I was devastated when the show was canceled because it is set in the perfect decade. It is set in the 1940s and it's following Agent Carter. So if you watched um, Captain America, there is the character Agent Carter in there that helps um, Steve Rogers on his journey to becoming Captain America and she sticks with him from his transformation into Captain America and still sees him as the man of her dreams. And so they fall in love and obviously, I mean, spoilers here, but they fall in love and then like he goes down with the ship and she thinks he's dead. And so this follows directly after Captain America, the first Avenger. And it's right after the wars ended, she's working for the SSR, and she is the only woman working there as an agent. And there, of course, are other women, but they're doing the paperwork jobs. But she wants to be seen as what she is. She's an agent. She can do the job that back then was just for men. And this show is incredible. I mean, there could actually be other words for it. I'm just really bad at articulating the words, but it's it's so good. Uh, Haley Atwell, who plays uh, Peggy Carter, does such a good job with this character. And this TV show came on, and you got to delve more into Peggy Carter's character. You just discovered, like, how much there is about her and I love that Marvel took this character that had that had some influence on the first Avenger obviously and expanded upon it and gave us more backstory and just it's amazing because it's amazing and this is the lipstick that they use in the TV show it is Besame Red Velvet and it's from um, Besame they make reproductions of all of the different lipsticks from different um, eras. And so this is the lipstick that they use. And I, I did purchase it. I also purchased the nail polish that they use. <laughs> so I'm just a little obsessed with the entire fashion. But yes, love this show so much. Number four TV show is The Flash. And so... This is the first season cover. I have the second season and the third season is currently airing. And so it is about a man by the name of Barry Allen and he is a CSI with the Central City Police Department. And he gets struck by lightning when the particle accelerator explodes in Central City. And he goes into a coma for nine months and when he wakes up he has lightning speed and so he decides to save people and he becomes the flash and he works alongside Cisco and Caitlin and they are a crime fighting team and through many different mishaps and superheroes and super villains later they have found out that Harrison Wells, who was not actually Harrison Wells, was trying to just use Barry Allen to accomplish his own goals. And then there's another Harrison Wells that comes from another Earth in the second season. And there's lots of different plot points. I don't want to give too much away because if you haven't seen through the second season or even the third season, there's lots of lots of plot points that have happened. So it's just really great. One of my favorite things about the show is Cisco puts in lots of different um, 
references from different movies and TV shows, and it just cracks me up every time. So he's one of the best parts of the TV show. He's hilarious. I love all his little one-liner references. And so it's just a really good show. I love the chemistry between all of the actors. They do really well together. They have they have good chemistry and so definitely recommend this tv show so my next favorite tv show is once upon a time and yes it is a very long tv show it is currently in its sixth season episode is going to air next week but when you're watching this it will have already aired once upon a time is about fairy tale characters and the evil queen decided to get her revenge by cursing them all to a land without magic, which of course is our world. And so there is Snow White and Prince Charming and they had a daughter that they sent to the real world before the curse happened. And so her name is Emma Swan and then she ended up having a child of her own named Henry. And so the evil queen created Storybrooke and all of the Storybook characters are living there without their memories. And then all of a sudden, Henry, the son that Emma, the daughter, gave up for adoption, was adopted by the evil queen. And so he travels off and says, I'm going to find my mom because I'm living with the evil queen because he has a magic storybook. And so he finds her. She comes to the town just to give the kid back because she doesn't want anything to do with any of it. And she doesn't believe him. But then time starts working again. Eventually, they all get their memories back. She believes that she's actually the daughter of Snow White and Prince Charming. Season two happens, season three happens. They meet lots of people, including Merida. There is Anna and Elsa. There's uh, Ariel. <laughs> There's Rumpelstiltskin, of course, because he is the through line of every single story. There's Cinderella. There's so many different stories. So now they just continue to try to defeat every villain that comes into town, of course. So there's the Wicked Witch who, spoiler, turns out is Regina's sister, the Evil Queen. So the Evil Queen and the Wicked Witch of the West are sisters. <laughs> I didn't even know that. But I absolutely love this show. It's great. I love all the characters and I just wait every week for a new episode. Just have to see where the storyline's progressing. And I did not get on the bandwagon for this show when it first came out. I started watching it, was just getting ready to begin its fifth season. And so it was one summer and I decided that I was going to start Once Upon a Time because everyone said it was such a good show and it was really great and I love everything Disney. So I was like, why not give it a chance? And so I had tried to watch it before and I started with just one episode in the middle of like season three and I was so confused because obviously if you've seen Once Upon a Time I yes I was going to be confused jumping into season three and so I was like this is this is just confusing I can't do this and I was like let me start at episode one and maybe like then I'll understand what's happening if I like go all the way through and all and obviously with Once Upon a Time you have to watch every single episode back not back to back but like, you have to watch them in order because there are so many different characters and plots getting woven together that you have to start from the beginning. You can't just jump in. But with all of those different plots and all of those different characters that are coming together, it is written so well that you can go to an episode and that episode may jump from five different times with different characters but they all make sense and it's written in such a way that you can follow the journey through so much time passing and going backwards and forwards and it's just an absolutely incredible show. My second favorite TV show is the Dick Van Dyke show and so this show centers around Robert Petrie who is a writer for the Alan Brady show and they live in New York City. He works alongside of Buddy Sorrell and Sally Rogers and they are comedy writers for the Alan Brady show. He's married to Laura Petrie, have a son Richie and so it's just a show about um his life and different things that happen 
And you don't actually have to watch all these in order. You can if you want, but you can pick single episodes out and understand. This is another one of those shows that really makes me happy that I can just watch and put me, put myself in a better mood. And it's really, it's one of those old timey shows. It's, black, it's in black and white. But I absolutely love it because I am from a bygone era that enjoys the black and white TV shows. But absolutely incredible show. It has lots of singing and dancing and different shows because they put that in there because they're writing for a television show so sometimes they end up having to perform and they're all of course great and so absolutely incredible show definitely would recommend this one 10 out of 10. So my number one favorite tv show is Sue Thomas FBI and it is about a woman who is deaf but she can read lips and she can speak and she can sign and she has a hearing dog and she ends up in the FBI working there reading lips of videotapes and doing surveillance and reading lips that way and so I have a few of the discs just in this little I have the entire three seasons so they went on for three seasons and I have all of them all laid out here and I absolutely love this TV show it is one of the it's my top TV show obviously because it's number one so it has a group of main characters that work really well together and it's very believable like the acting is great and the plot lines are very fluid and it's one of those shows that is, it's obviously a stage show and it's a written script and all that, but it feels so realistic and there are just different moments that you obviously, it's real life. It feels like you're just following someone around in their real life and you're not watching a TV show, but it's great. There's lots of sign language, which I absolutely love because I have been studying sign language since I was 10 and so I love that part and I like watch and I'll like try not to read the little um captions at the bottom when they do conversations completely in sign language and I try to like see if I can figure out what's happening and most of the time I can figure it out <laughs> but maybe because I've just watched it so many times but I absolutely love the show 10 out of 10 five stars two thumbs up everything this show is my feel good happy show if I'm ever just feeling down or like in a like sad mood I can just watch an episode of this and I'm instantly cheered up so sit down grab some pizza and a thing of ice cream and I'm pretty happy my top five favorite TV shows I hope you like this video if you did could you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon